hello everyone hope you all are doing well so in this video we'll we'll discuss the last problem of lead code by weekly contest 88 uh, it's a hard level problem the problem name is number of pairs satisfying in quality so you are given two zero index integer arrays nums1 and nums2 each of size n and an integer diff find the number of pairs i comma j such that two conditions are satisfied the first condition is i is less than j and obviously these two indices lie between 0 to n minus 1 the second condition is a complex equation that will be rearranging so return the number of pairs that satisfy the condition right um, let me yeah let me just try to uh, tell you what the problem is saying so let's first uh, tackle the complex part so it says that n1 of i minus n1 of j is less than equal to n2 of i minus n2 of j plus diff this is what it is saying let's rearrange this equation it becomes n1 of i minus n2 of i you bring this here you take this here less than equal to n1 of j minus n2 of j plus diff so that here you can see for both the arrays we are considering the same index i here for both the arrays we are considering the same index j and what this value is this value is basically diff of n1 and n2 at some indices so that means for two in for there are two arrays n1 and n2 if for every i ranging from 0 to n minus 1 i construct a new array which contains the diff that means uh, the first the first uh, let's call it n this is n2 this is n1 so n of i will basically contain n1 of i minus n2 of i this is what i mean to say so this is the new array so here i can write n of i less than equal to n of j plus diff right now don't you think this equation has become really easy as compared to the one that we saw in the problem right uh, a pretty complex statement has uh, equation has been reduced to a simple one so now it says in this final array that you have got we need to find the number of pairs where i and j are there and they form a valid pair if now the second condition or i is less than j obviously that i is less than j right and n of i is less than equal to n of j plus diff these are the two things that we need to satisfy we need to find all the pairs that satisfy this condition now if you are solving this problem for the first time uh, then yeah it may be new to you however this problem can be solved using multiple approaches so wherever you need to find Uh, the number of pairs satisfying a given condition this approach would work and also given condition that one index is bound to be on the left hand side of the second index so you can solve it using bit that is binary index tree uh, you can you can solve it using multi sort technique right i generally solve it using multi sort technique because it's an easier one and most of us are familiar with multi sort i uh, we, we can solve it using bit as well um, the the i would say the concept once you understand the bit concept it's a very easy thing to code the code will be relatively smaller but understanding it is the major part if you want i can create a detailed video on that as well but however this is these are the two equations that we need to satisfy now uh, let's see what basically mul sort says right so mul sort says that you have a big array you have a big array and you divide this array into two parts right this and this similarly you divide this array into two parts you keep on doing this until and unless you get single elements right because obviously the single element will already be sorted and then finally what you do you move upwards and you merge the two child arrays right you merge the two child arrays so this array will be sorted which will contain these elements in sorted manner similarly this array will be sorted which will contain these elements in sorted order right this is the basic concept of mul sort where the time complexity is basically big o of n log n right that is what it says now if if we take a generic theory what mul sort does is it basically divides a big problem a big array this is a big array into two smaller problems it basically solves those those problems and then merges the results of those two problems right that is what mul sort do divide it into two small arrays sort them and then finally merge it to form a bigger array which is already sorted using the concept that these two were sorted right so now if i talk about what the problem is saying here uh, what we saw this is a condition this is a condition that i need to satisfy ni is less than equal to nj plus diff 
now just see suppose if i have a big array now if i divide this into two parts i divide this into two parts right and then again i divide it into two parts right similar to what i do in mulsort right now somehow suppose i have calculated the um, answer of this array somehow this is a sorted array somehow this is sorted we'll see how it is sorted suppose i know that these two arrays are sorted right now let's denote it by l it, it starts from l it goes till suppose mid or you can say uh, yeah let's call it mid only for simplicity right uh, yeah let's call it mid let's call it r and let's call it end for simplicity i am using the same variables name uh, variable name that i have used in the code right now suppose if my l points to the first index right if my end uh, l points to the first index let so l is 0 r is also 0 right so i compare i i i do a check what i do i check that if n of i or l sorry l if uh, l is less than equal to n of r plus diff this is what what i need to satisfy right that index on the left hand side should satisfy a condition uh, this condition with the index on the right hand side right so what i do i do this thing that uh, n of l is less than equal to n of r plus diff l is in this array r is in this array so l will always be less than r that's for sure so one, one condition is already satisfied i need to check this suppose this condition satisfies that means l is forming a pair with r so what will happen don't you think l will also form a pair with r plus 1 l will also form a pair with r plus 2 why because it says that suppose um, l and r are forming a pair so that means n of l is less than equal to n of r plus diff now since this array is sorted so the value at r plus 1th index will be will be greater than or equal to value at the rth index so that means this value can only increase it cannot decrease right this can al only increase so that means if l forms a pair with r l will always form a pair with r plus 1 r plus 2 and so on till till end right <coughs> sorry <coughs> so how many pairs can i form total number of pairs that i can form is end minus r plus 1 r is the index where the first pair is formed l forms the first number with which l is forming a pair so right so suppose um, l forms a pair with index number 7 or 6 and total we have 10 indices so 6 7 8 9 10 right l forms a pair with 6 so l will also form a pair with 7 8 9 and 10 so how many pairs are being formed it is 10 minus that is n minus r here it is 6 plus 1 that is 5 1 2 3 4 5 so i add this in my answer right i add this that these are the number of pairs that are being formed now once this pair is formed i move i increment my l now l points to 1 uh, now l points to 1 now i again check i again check that is a pair being formed so i formed a pair with l and r and r was already there i just calculated this value r is still at the same place i incremented l now it's l plus 1 and r now if these two are also forming a pair that means again i will i will so it will l plus 1 will also form a pair with r plus 1 r plus 2 and so on so i will do this however if l plus 1 is not forming a pair with r that means i need to increment this value so now we will check for l plus 1 r plus 1 suppose it forms a pair so now how many how many new pairs are being formed this minus here in this case r plus 1 plus 1 actually r has incremented so the new value of r is r plus 1 only but that's what i'm saying so right so this is what you do in case you do not form a pair you increment your r and if you form a pair you just compute it right the basic stuff and then finally what you do you now i was i was saying that these suppose these two arrays are sorted now how these two arrays are sorted so basically at last we were having single elements right so while you are uh, while you are computing the number of pairs finally at the at the end of your logic you will go up right you will go up and then finally this will go up so when you move from here to here this array is basically a concatenation of these two arrays 
so while concatenating while merging it what not concatenating while merging it i'll 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 just sort them how i'll sort them so i i've done a brute force here basically i just copied these two chunks i sorted it and i replaced it in the larger array suppose this was the chunk right these were the two arrays something like this this was here this was here i sorted it and i replaced it in the original array so now this part is sorted right so this is what i done i've done and finally we get the final answer um let's jump to the solution i'll i'll show you how i have done it so here you can see that um, we start from line number 41 and uh, on line number 43 i have created a new list as i told you we'll be keeping the diff of uh, for every index in this array in this list so on line number 46 you can see a diff list dot add nums of 1 nums of 2 right Uh, for for a particular index and then finally i got mul sort i return the count now in mul sort i'll be i'll be calculating my answer let's move to line number 28 uh, simple mul sort logic line number 29 if start equals to n then just return zero else find the midpoint and call the mul sort for the smaller arrays right now when you do this finally you check count basic mul sort concept if you are uh, familiar with the template right we move to line number 3 uh, l and r are basically the two indices the two starting indices of the two sub arrays that we will be considering and as, as i told you while l is less than equal to mid and r is less than equal to end what you do you check whether uh, number at the lth index is less than equal to number at the rth index plus diff if that is there increment the number of pairs that you are forming on line number 8 and increment l right uh, that means on the left hand side you you move forward one step right else you move uh, the right pointer in the second sub array right on line number 15 what i have done i have created a new sub array i am adding the elements present in these two sub arrays i am sorting it on line number 21 and then i am replacing it in the original array because actually we are using the original array itself it's just a representation based on certain indices we are just processing a single chunk a, a part of that original array a chunk however we are processing the original array itself right uh, and finally we return uh, the answer be on line number 2 the count variable is being updated at line number 8 you can see and finally we return our answer so exactly if you are familiar with the merge sort code this is exact same code we have just uh, changed the uh, merging log uh, sorry we have changed the check logic from line number 5 to line number 13 add an extra logic and then we can find the number of pairs so yeah i am sure you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel if you find this channel useful in case you have any comments any queries do mention that i'll i'll try to revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye